Now let's look at the ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers, the sartans. So similar drugs, ARBs include losartan, valsartan, and the other sartans. I'm looking at the Lang pharmacology cards. So for the mechanism of action, the ARBs act by blocking the angiotensin 2 receptor, thereby blocking the effects of angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 has the following actions. It is a vasoconstrictor. It increases perfusion pressure in the glomeruli. The vasoconstriction of the efferent through vasoconstriction of the efferent arterioles of the kidney. It stimulates aldosterone production, which leads to increased salt and water retention by the kidney. By blocking the effects of angiotensin 2, the ARBs act to decrease peripheral vascular resistance and to decrease the effective circulating volume of fluid in the body. Clinical uses used in the treatment of hypertension and congestive heart failure. Also used to treat and prevent diabetic neuropathy. So similar to the ACE inhibitors. Side effects. Hyperkalemia, renal failure in renally insufficient patients. Hypertension. Teratogen may cause fetal renal damage if used during pregnancy and rash. We've heard this before. However, note that unlike the ACE inhibitors, the ARBs have no effect on the metabolism of bradykinin, nor are they associated, uh, they associate with a cough or the development of angioedema. Both of these side effects are believed to be related to elevated levels of bradykinin, and this is because it works um, farther down the line than ACE inhibitors.